So to get started, I'm going to use the Elsie Radiance Primer and this primer will give you a beautiful glow without making you extra shiny or extra greasy so I really love it for that. I'm just going to blend that out all over my face using my fingers. Next I'm going to use MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. This is definitely one of my favorite foundations. I'm going to blend that in with the Beauty Blender and I'm using shade NC50 in case you are curious that is my shade in MAC Foundation. I'm just going to blend that all over my face. This foundation is a very natural looking in terms of finish. It doesn't give you extra shininess or matte. It's just right in the middle in my opinion. Kind of like a satin finish. This concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, of course. <laughs> like, duh. And I'm going to be concealing everywhere with that. I use two shades. One is a little bit lighter to help really bring out and highlight certain areas of my face and I'm going to blend that out again with the beauty blender. I'm also blending it on top of my lid to help match my the rest of my um, face. So for uh, setting powder, I'm using the lighter Laurent Mercier powder. I'm not going to put powder all over my face because I want it to be pretty glowy. And for bronzer today, I'm using the CoverGirl Ebony bronzer from the Queen Collection. This is definitely one of my favorites and I love using this one for a glowy look because it does have a little bit of sparkle to it. For blush, I'm just using Max Raisin Blush. This one is pretty matte but I love the color and it's going to be topped off with a more glowy product. This is from MAC and it is Glow With Me. I'm going to link it below so you guys can have the proper name but I'm going to put this all over my blush and also on my forehead just really add in some nice bronziness to my skin it's such a subtle glow it's but it's so pretty you guys I love it I'm dusting off the extra powder using this brush from Sigma and I'm going to be highlighting with max oh darling highlight I'm first gonna be using this fan brush from Sigma and then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia highlighting brush I'm really gonna add some beautiful highlight to my face I decided to highlight my nose and my cupid's bow as well as usual <laughs> and for my eyes I'm gonna keep it pretty matte because I wanted to focus the um, glowiness on the face and not so much the eye so I use the Urban Decay Basics Naked Palette I think it's called that and um, just making it really really matte and neutral I'm using a like peanut buttery shade or like a orangey brown kind of shade and I'm gonna apply this on the bottom lash line as well and for my lid color it's going to be a really nice cream creamy shade just on the inner portion of my lid so that part is not blank it's pretty much skin tone color like not, not my skin tone but like a skin tone <laughs> flesh type of color and um, then I'm gonna apply some mascara this is from Maybelline. I am also going to take the highlights, oh darling, for my inner corner. I applied some lashes. These are the Coco lashes. I'll link the style below. For lipstick, I'm using Uncontrollable from MAC's new uh, retro matte collection, I think it is. It's such a pretty color. It's a color that I would legit never ever buy, but I love it. Like, it just, I, something about it just really intrigued me, and I love it. I like that I picked it up because it's really pretty. I line my lips with cork and I'm going to go in with Oh Baby from MAC. Such a gorgeous color. It's so pretty and glossy and I love it. So that is basically the finished look. I'm going to set my face with MAC's Fix Plus and that's it.